Hello again, folks. After a lengthy three-hour downtime where I could not connect to the internet or do anything, really, I'm finally back up. Okay, I'm gonna finish the beginning part of this, uh, um, Let's Play, um, and then I'm gonna, in order to make things more interesting, I'm gonna skip around a little bit to, to um, pick up some better ships and equipment so to make this battle a little more interesting. Okay. And once again, I'm kind of tired of the load times. Okay, where we left off, they uh, wanted us to go to the shipyard in Mars to pick up a new ship they gave us, which I'm telling you now is pretty much... there's nothing on it. Okay, I do not see the markings here. I guess I'm going to have to fly it manually. Transorbital Accelerator, Mars. Now, the deal is, uh... Th this beginning part just gets you uh, a lot of rep as Terran, so that you can enter and leave here easily and you got a br brief uh, introduction into the combat. It kind of is like a tutorial portion of the um, thing, but uh, if you finish the quest, you can actually get um, a, cr a unique uh, Corvette style a class ship, which has decent armor, decent shields, and decent weapons. It can even equip antimatter cannons, which is a powerful weapon, but uses ammo. Yeah, that's my friend bugging me. He's asking who Betty is. It's the AI voice. Now, once I uh, get to this point, things will get a little more complicated and harder, and it's better to have more equipment. I'm going to be running what's basically stock missions through here. They're randomly generated, and it can get quite repetitive getting your reputation up with, with the humans because of the vast Entrance distance between the areas. Mars. Uh, another cutscene. Shipyard. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. I'm not sure what exactly that was. I think someone was spying. But it comes into play later on when you have to... when they make you defend these sectors here. There are um, other races in the universe other than the humans. There are five of them. As well as uh, various pirates and stuff that are um, set off from those five races, but also belong to them. There's the Argons, which are very human-like, the Boron, which are basically squids, the um, Split, which are kind of like uh, predators except they don't cloak and they like to fight, they like to hunt. Um, then you've got the Talati, which are kind of like uh, Ferengi, and then finally you've got uh, uh, the Paranid, which... Uh, are basically zealots as well as racists successfully docked welcome aboard this terran station connection to local trading network established now i actually have another own ship here i can ship computer control transferred oh, there we go. i should be able to see under own ships here i don't know why it's not showing well, it's here under landed ships, but it should also appear under owned. The rapier is uh, my uh, new one. Let's look at what it has. It has one megajoule of shields and a single area engine time accelerator. 
with the owner of Yay. the freight container 1952. Not very generous three, yet. Please report to the custom center. That's about it. USC's ability to patrol remote areas of okay, the solar Betty. system and to reconnoiter hostile territory is due in no small part to the rapier's agility and speed. The, currently, the rapier does not move as fast as my ship, but it can be upgraded to be one of the fastest ships in the game. Its uh, maneuverability is uh, um, almost second to none, but uh, it can. It, that's actually pretty heavily shielded for a uh, scout class ship. Five megajoules. I currently have 20 on mine, and I can upgrade to 25. Laser energy is kind of small, but, uh, well, it's a scout ship. You kind of expect that, but it still has to use the same weapons I got, which means it drains the weapon energy really fast. Cargo bay is small, and it can only hold small containers, which means that uh, you can only hold a, um, a small amount of small items. Like I said, it can only equip the electromagnetic plasma cannon. That's what I've got down here and can only use poltergeist missiles, which is also the only what missile I can use. So I don't really see any reason for me to have this so much. Yay. Oh well. Now, what's next with the mission? We gotta go back to Asteroid Belt and talk to the Major General. Well, I've been to the Asteroid Belt, so let's make this easy. And I believe he's here. You can set autopilot through several second ground. sectors. Usually it works well. Not always. Especially if there's lots of asteroids. Some people nickname it the auto pillock. Basically, if you've got a collisions nearby, you generally want to fly it yourself. Takeoff is always slow. Come on. I believe that this next mission is gonna ask me to take the scout ship and go uh, spy on somebody. However, I'm gonna, at that point, which I get that mission, I'm gonna take off and uh, upgrade my stuff a bit so that uh, I've got a better chance of survival. Entering system, asteroid belt. Looks like this time I don't actually have to dock. I just have to get within 25, um, 25 kilometers because you see the big book icon over it. It means that somebody is there that I can talk to by, via the comms about my um, quest. There are other icons that can appear, which is like a light, light bulb, um, scent sign, uh, bricks, or uh, targeting reticle with. Uh, various kinds of quests, depending on the tar the reticle. I mean, depending on the I icon. And I am almost close enough. The biggest advantage in questing over the um, reunion was the fact that you can do it remotely. You are talking to the automated interact. Hello, pilots. Good day, pilots. As you might be aware, the governments of the Commonwealth are less than welcoming of our presence in their territories. This, however, will not prevent us from leading a thorough investigation.